Alright. This is take two of an impromptu video that felt necessary in light of recent music news. Uh, the first take, I kind of ballsed up about halfway through. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, um, yesterday, Chester Bennington, lead singer of Linkin Park, was found dead. Apparently hanged himself. Um, now, this, there's no two ways about it, this is a tragedy. Um, there might be cruel comments that come out saying it's a selfish or cowardly way out of dealing with problems or that it's karmic backlash for comments he, unkind comments he made that at the end of the day are completely moot at this point. He's gone. The fact of the matter is he took his life as a consequence of not being able to receive the necessary care to cope with his own personal mental illness, his depression, probably anxiety. I wouldn't like to go into what else might have been afflicting him. Uh, I believe it said about him um, being abused as a child, which does come through in a lot of his lyrics. Um, but none the more for that. Fact of the matter is, um, th this has affected a lot of people. A lot of my friends, um, and myself to a lesser extent, grew up with his music. Well, Linkin Park's music, um, but Chester Benning, it was basically Chester Bennington and Mike Shinoda, a lot. A lot of it was those two, but anyway. Um, I, I, I was... I've enjoyed their music. I would never say I was a fan, because I haven't listened to enough of their stuff to classify myself as such. But what I've listened to, I have enjoyed. I'll go back to it. I'll go back to it all the time. Um, Faint is one of my favourite songs of theirs. Uh, Points of Authority was one of the first songs I heard. I was about 10 or 11. And... The, there's no two ways about it. This is a tragedy. A man took his own life because of issues that weren't addressed. And it doesn't matter what walk of life you come from. Um, if the problems aren't addressed, then eventually something's going to snap it it does come through in a lot of his lyrics that he was dealing with deep-seated problems all right I mean, for as as many jokes as are made about songs like Crawling and Numb, the fact of the matter is that was him making very overt statements about his 
inner demons. And ultimately, I think we get to the key question here. Why is why are mental health problems not being addressed as they should be? I mean, amongst men, it is really not addressed properly because men are expected to suck it up and be all get over it and not actually go for help. So, oh, oh, this is a really difficult thing to cover because you you find yourself questioning it more and more. And I think, ultimately, the key answer is that even if you don't have an actual... Even if you don't have a clinical medical or mental health problem, even if it's just effective, you know, even if it's just as a result of taking on far too much and you have a very dramatic you have a very dramatic drop in mood even if it's just that it needs to be addressed and it needs to be talked about that's the message that whenever one of these tragedies happens, that's the message that people need to take from it. And it's frustrating that we're at this point and we're still having to say, please take, a, may, uh, please pay attention. Uh, I mean, I wonder if maybe Chris Cornell's death had a contributing factor to this. Because, as from what I understand, they were very close. And Chester... <sighs> Chester looked up to the guy. So, I have a feeling that that did affect a lot of what's happened now, especially considering um, what would have been Chris Cornell's 53rd birthday, I, I think it's 53rd, um, would have been coming up. But, none the more for that. This needs to be addressed. And, if you... If you do suffer from... any sort of mental illness, do not hesitate to reach out. Whether it's to a friend, family, or a whether it's even to just a complete stranger. I've talked to complete strangers about having my own problems, and it has helped me immensely. So, whoever you reach out to, don't hesitate to.
and if you know someone with a mental health problem, please, there is nothing... It is one of the greatest ways that you can show that you care for that person, to be there for them. Um, l last thing I want to say to his family, his friends, and his fans, my, my thoughts are with you. I... I feel like this will be, this is going to be a tough thing to get, to be able to cope with. I'm not going to say get over because you don't get over this sort of thing, you cope with it. So, just remember that Although he's gone, there are still the memories that he has given us, there is still the music, and the best we thing we can do to honour his memory is to keep the music and the memories alive. To Chester, I hope that you found peace. You were a troubled soul that certainly needed it, and I hope you have found it. And to everyone, stay safe and Show your love for each other. Take any opportunity you can to show that love. Because you never know how much it could mean to someone. Bye Chester, rest in peace.